What was a dictator in ancient Rome? Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, we travel to ancient Rome. The history of dictatorship in Rome is fascinating and shows how words and concepts can evolve over time. In ancient Rome, the term dictator did not have the negative connotation it has today. It was an extraordinary office appointed during severe crises, such as wars or natural disasters, where a rapid and decisive response was needed that ordinary government procedures could hinder. The Roman dictator had almost absolute powers but was strictly limited to a very short period, usually six months, to prevent power abuse and ensure that the republic did not turn into an autocracy. Moreover, he had to stick to the specific areas for which he had been granted authority, and once the crisis was resolved, or the term expired, he had to resign his office and powers. This system worked to a certain extent but was also susceptible to abuses, as the examples of Lucius Cornelius Sulla and Julius Caesar show. Sulla, for example, used the office to carry out a series of proscriptions against his political enemies, and Julius Caesar was appointed perpetual dictator. That was a significant step toward transforming the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire under his successor, Augustus. These historical examples illustrate how temporary and extraordinary measures can slide into more permanent and autocratic forms of government, a topic that remains relevant in contemporary politics. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.